Shalom, Malkum, Makar Makapash, Malkum. Okay, given all page Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, Waha, Kudash Waka, that we honor the elders, the apostles of GMS, and honor that the brethren on the highways and byways teaching his truth, you know, teaching in all sincerity. Okay, you know, being the time of Purim, you know, we're just going to reflect on, you know, the story of Esther, you know, that's contained in the book of Esther. You know, where the Lord basically delivered us from from the evil Haman, okay, who who was an Edomite, okay, pursuant to scriptures as an Agagite, okay, and the Lord took vengeance upon those that hated us, man, okay, okay? and this lesson is going to go into basically how you know the Lord's going to do that again. He's going to take vengeance upon all these heathens that hate us, man, okay, everyone that's lifted up their hands against us, you know, put us into slavery, you know made us destitute okay the Lord's gonna take vengeance on on all of them man okay the Lord's gonna deliver us from them okay but we're gonna start in the book of Esther okay I'm not gonna read the whole thing but um we're gonna I'm gonna read oh I'm gonna get read from um in chapter nine okay just to, um just to you know put out there that the Purim is, is a high holiday of the heavenly father man that was set up in the spirit Okay, that we are, that we ought to keep, you know, yearly, man. Okay, in remembrance of, of of the deliverance that the Lord, you know, gave to us, man. Okay, but bro, here we start in um, Esther nine, and verse twenty one. Uh, this is um, Esther nine, verse twenty one, to establish this among them, that they should keep the. The fourteenth day of the month Adar, and the fifteenth day of the same yearly, as the days wherein the Jews rested from their enemies, and from and the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy. All right, because you know Haman, you know this is during the reign of uh, King Assuerus. Okay, Assuerus. Was yeah, which was uh, a Persian. Okay, during the Persian Empire, right? And um, Esther was made to be his queen, who, who, who was an Israelite. Okay, and you know, Persia had multiple different nations underneath it, like being ruled over. And Haman was the Edomite okay, of, of the line of Agag. Okay, and he was one of his officers, basically. And because of his disdain against the, the Israelites, he tried to get them all killed. He tried to get the king to send a decree out to have them destroyed basically okay but the Lord had it where it all flipped up on him man and he ended up being destroyed him and his house mm -hmm. okay and, and and the Israelites were, were saved man through uh, Mordecai and, and Esther okay we don't know and from morning into a good day that they should make them days of feasting and joy and of sending portions one to another and gifts to the poor and the Jews undertook to do as they had begun, and as Mordecai had written unto them, because Haman the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, the enemy of all the Jews, had devised against the Jews to destroy them, and had cast per, that is, the lot, to consume them and to destroy them. All right, so the, 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 the name Purim, the term Purim means lot, okay, based, based off this. Okay, I'll tell you what. It says, but when Esra came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. Right, yep. Wherefore, they called these days Purim after the name of Pur. Therefore, for all the words of this letter and of that which they had seen concerning this matter and which had come unto them the Jews ordained and took upon them and upon their seed and upon all such as joined themselves unto them so as it should not fail that they would keep these two days according to their writing 
and according to their appointed time every year. All right, so it's a, it's a sanctioned high holy day by the heavenly Father, man. Okay, because this has been put in the scriptures through the Spirit, man. And these these are the part of the high holy days that we're meant to keep as Israelites, man. Okay, not not this pagan shit that you know this world is set up for us to 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 worship. Okay, but our high holy days pertain to the Israelites. We're meant to uphold these these high holy days and have these days in remembrance. Okay, as as and when they come along. Okay, so during this period, you're meant to be put back into remembrance of, you know, what our enemies tried to do to, do to us in, in in this particular case, um, Haman the Edomite. Okay, what he tried to do to us, man. And you know, the underlying point is that the Lord, he, he you know, the Lord protects us, man. He won't have us be completely destroyed by our enemies, man. Okay, even though we're, we're subjugated under our enemies, the Lord gonna avenge us. Okay, so we, you know, we're being put back in remembrance that our, that our Lord, Yahweh Bashem is going to deliver us out of our current captivity. Okay, under all these nations. Okay, and they're all going to pay for everything that they've done. All the wickedness that done, they've done towards us. Okay, and that, you know, that inspires hope, faith, you know, in, in you know, coming towards the, the, the last days, man. Please, sir. Go on up. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Right, so the Lord's got mercy upon Jacob. You know, although the Lord chastised us, he put us into captivity, you know, for being disobedient, the Lord will have mercy upon Jacob, you know, after all of that, because he has he's got a plan. He had he's got a plan that he's put in place, okay, which involves Yahweh Shai, which you know, being being um sacrificed for our sins, man. You know. And they uh, and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids right so the strangers are going to be um, put in subjection put into slavery in servitude okay and you're going to serve us man just like how we serve you now okay because like I said the whole the whole thing that you know how things are now is going to be flipped okay we're not going to be at the bottom of the power anymore we're going to be rulers over the earth with Yahweh Shai okay and and you're going to be put below us man okay and, we, and you're going to get repaid from everything that you've done okay uh, uh, can you get me uh, revelations 13 and 10 quickly yeah just a piece of on that one you know because all you all you nations are put us into slavery okay and you know haven't paid for it yet Okay, so the time is coming where you know scriptures are going to be fulfilled, man. Okay, this one in particular. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith for the saints. All right, and that's why all you nations are going to get put into slavery because all of you, all of you have done it. Okay, you touch the apple of the Most High's eye and you put them into slavery, man. So you're all going to fulfill that scripture. That's not just the Edomites. That's just the most prominent out of all the nations. Okay, all you nations are going to go into slavery. Okay, those of you that, that survive the day of the Lord. Okay, you're going to go into slavery. Okay. Back to Isaiah 14 and 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. All right, we're going to possess them because they're our inheritance, man. That's what, you know, it's a possession. <laughs> okay, it's what's been given to us. Okay, through Yahweh Shai, because they're ultimately given to him. Okay, but that goes back to the blessings of Jacob and that we would, you know, be above all the nations, man. Okay. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Yep. And they shall rule over, excuse me, over their oppressors. That's right. So one of the points I wanted to make is um, we were also oppressed by the, um, the Greeks. Now, when you go into the book of... Um, quicken me up um, what was it the Maccabees first Maccabees the chapter one uh, speaking about Alexander the freak mm -hmm. um, it tells you he was a Macedonian all right now the Macedonians go back to um, you know uh, Agag and then um, go even back to uh, Haman and go back to um, yeah, um, yeah mm -hmm. Amalek mm -hmm. Which Amalek is the chief house of Satan and them so-called Jews today, all right. So 
they had us in, in captivity during the Greek Empire, but then the scripture told you we're going to have the scriptures have said, who's, uh, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. So all these um, all these elites and the, what what um, what um, Haman was unset successful to do, they succeeded eventually with Alexander because it was all the same line. But then the scriptures telling you that they're still going to pay for all those crimes they committed even unto a uh, uh, Haman all the way up into Alexander and even to the day we're living in now so like, like I said man all these nations have done it okay so they're all, they're all gonna experience that judgment man okay Sorry, yeah it says uh and they shall take them captives whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors all right so that's what's gonna happen that's a prophecy right there Okay, and you just finish off Esther, you, um, verse 28. Yeah. Let me work to that. Uh, this is Esther 9, verse 28. It says, And that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation, every family, every province, and every city. And that these days of Purim should not fail, fail from among the Jews, nor the memorial of them perish from their seed. All right, so it's a commandment to, to you know, remember these, these high holy days, okay? You know, to bring them into remembrance, man, okay? You know, they would exchange gifts and stuff like that. You know, it's a celebration uh, in terms of high, high, high holy days, you know, in comparison to the Passover, which is a solemn assembly, okay, a really serious occasion. Okay, Purim is more uh, joyous, joyous in that occasion, man. You know, it's a, more a celebration. Okay, for you know, the Most High delivering him from 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 uh, Hamat. Okay, um, but like I said, man, we're bringing this into remembrance, man, because this is what's going to happen to us in in these days, man. We're going to be delivered from th those that hate us, man. Okay, you can read the whole, you know, whole, the whole story of Esther, and, and you can get scope, or you know, of what went on. Okay, and the dire situation that they was faced with. Okay, but we're we're faced with a, with a similar situation today, man. Okay, because secretly a so-called white man wants to eradicate us. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has all these projects in in, in place. You know, King Alpha's program, otherwise known as Rex eighty four, and that was updated to Rex two thousand and something. You know. Georgia guys, all of that, man. That that all um, involves eradicating us, most in, you know, in particular, off the face of the earth. Okay, it's a grand scheme of theirs to do away with Jacob. Okay, but like I said, all you nations, you played your part in our destruction, our downfall, and that the judgment is going to come upon you because of that, right? Well, we give me Isaiah 34 and read from verse one, please, Lord. Uh, this is Isaiah. Chapter 34, verse 1. Be down to verse 8, yeah. It says, Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people, let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Right, so the Lord's righteous <coughs> hatred, because that's what the word indignation means, is upon all nations. Okay? So the Lord obviously don't love everybody if he hates <laughs> all these nations. But why does he hate them? Because people act like they don't, there's no reason for the Lord to hate nobody, man. You know, but there is a particular reason. Okay, read or not. It says, uh, and his fury upon all their enemies. Their armies. He, so like, yeah, uh, all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out. And their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Now, this is a future prophecy, man. It's talking about the, the, the end, the last days, man. Okay, the day of the Lord. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Okay, that's all about nuclear warfare, man. This is talking about, you know, the, the you know event of World War Three. Okay, which is coming real soon. Go on up. And all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth off from the vine. And as fallen fig from the fig tree, 
For my sword shall be bathed in the, in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. All right, so, you know, these, like we always tell you, man, the Edomites have got a particular judgment, man. Okay? Because they're the hated of them. They're the most hated of the Lord. Okay? The scripture tells you, man, he hated Esau. Okay? <clears throat> He never, he's never been so forward in, in <laughs> pointing out particular nation, you know. General, generally, he hates them, but Esau in particular, he hates. Okay, so yeah, Esau, Esau's got a particular judgment for you. Okay, you don't know. Uh, Salakia, just to back you on that point, I believe it's in Isaiah, um, was it, sixty-four? No, I'll read it one moment. What was you getting up? Isaiah 63 actually. Um, it says it right here, bear with me one second. Basically that the day the Lord burns in Yahushua's heart. You know? Um, well yeah, here it is. Uh, Isaiah 63 and uh, start from 4. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. Mm. And that's the Lord. The day of the Lord is all about vengeance. Payback. Yep. So you people are in for um, a rude awakening. Yep. Because you seem to think that this is your um, your oasis, man. This is your your place of, um, you know, sustain. You think this is about love? <laughs> the Lord don't love you other nations, man. The Lord has this great hatred towards you, man. And you're going to find out. <laughs> when the day of the Lord comes, so we're reading the scriptures concerning these prophecies, man. And like I said, just like these people have never heard these things before, you know. But the Lord has a, a deep resentment for you other nations, and the Lord deals with nations. He doesn't deal. With, he, he's gonna do do with the whole nation, man. Okay. Back in Isaiah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's Isaiah 34 and 5. I read it again. It says, "For my sword shall be bathed in heaven." Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my cursed judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood, it is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the ki kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Bozra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. A great slaughter, right? And the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust made fat with fatness for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance once again is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion all right so like I said there, there is a reason why the Lord is so pissed off man okay and it's because of the things you've done to Zion okay Israel the Israelites Okay, the Lord is bringing vengeance because of those things. Okay, just like Haman found out, man, don't fuck around, man, with, with the children of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, because surely it will be your undoing, and it's going to be the undoing of all these nations that have ever rose up against us. Okay. Um, bro, oh, you give me Psalms 83 verse two, please, oh, and read down to the um, fifth verse. This is Psalms 82, verse uh, 1 to 5, yeah? 2 to 5. 2 to 5. Yeah, this is Psalms 82, verse 2. How long will ye mm -hmm. judge? 83. 83, yeah? yeah? Psalms 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Those that hate us, man. These other nations hate us. They don't want us to be who we say we are. They don't want us to uh, achieve or receive the blessing of the Lord. Okay, that's hate, man, because rightfully that's where we belong. We belong at, at the top, rule in rulership. Okay, that's what that's what we're made for. Okay, but these nations don't want us to be those people, man. They want they because they want to look at us as, as as niggers, man, low lives. Okay, that never amount to nothing. Okay, that's how they see us, and they can't have someone like that rule over them. But Esau's ruling and he was a damn fucking caveman. Okay? The, the fact of the matter is, no matter how you slice it, man, you, you other nations hate us, man. Okay, you, you would deny us our, our, our blessing. 
okay and you you make it so man okay you come up you come up with all these other nations ways to keep us down okay that's what it means to make it a, a tomorrow is it's a, a speaking in secret yeah. basically okay come on. they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones they have said come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance right so like I said the elites of you nations you know who we are and yet you will hide that from us man because it without that knowledge man it leaves us broken okay it leaves us broken man and now, now we even tell people who they are they don't want to believe it they rather believe what you other nations have taught them Okay, namely the so-called white man, you know, making you believe that you're, you're down fucking Africans or Caribbeans or whatever he fucking labels you as. That's what you want to believe. But a lot of created you to be Israelites, man. Okay? You don't know. He says, um, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Right, so after this verse, from the sixth verse on down, it, it lists all the nations that have done this, man. That have, that have spoken in secret against this, man that have confided with each other to, to destroy us okay just like Hammond okay trying to destroy us okay but they're gonna be what well, they've been up they've been successful to this point but we still exist man he's not been able to get rid of us man as hard as as, as much and hard, as hard as Esau and the rest of these nations try they can't get rid of us man because if it was the will of, of, of Esau we'd be gone already but through the mercy of the Heavenly Father, we still exist, man. We're still around. He can't kill us all off, man. There's too many, man. Okay, and you kill a great amount of us every fucking day. And there's still many of us. Okay? The Tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab. That's all right. I wasn't going to read it up oh, okay. said, just for the sake of time, man. But you can read that yourself. These nations are in, All these nations are involved in doing this, man. That's why you all go receive the judgment. Okay? Um, the next one we need to get though um, is Isaiah 66 and verse 14. Pop up a shot. This is Isaiah 66 verse 14. It says, And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb, and the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servants and his indignation towards his enemies right so it's going to be known the indignation indignation towards the enemies which are you other nations man like we just read in the previous scripture okay and we're going to find out the mercies of jacob okay that's why we're going to rejoice okay but the law is going to is going to do a heavy hand on you other nations man okay read on not it says for behold the lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and fury with fury mm -hmm. and his rebuke with flames of fire all right so that you know the angels are coming down with the, with the laser beams there's gonna be missiles flying about nuclear weapons flying about the laws gonna do a heavy hand on you nations man as as a as a you know as um as, as a judgment man as a recompense okay next one up this is um for by fire and by sword Will the Lord plead with all flesh, mm. and the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right. Like we, you know, we always put it out there, man. Like, because this world, when they think of the Bible, and they think about Jesus Christ, because that's who they associate with the Bible. And when they think about Jesus Christ, they think about God. And the, that whole thought, that whole process, you know, they they've come to believe that this is all about love. Mm. You know, the Lord loves everybody. When when you read these scriptures, man, the Lord detests all these other nations that have dealt treacherously with, with Israel the Lord hates you know two thirds of his own people <laughs> okay to the most part you know he's going to have mercy on them but he detests them in, in what, you know, their actions okay but the Lord has a, has a deep deep rooted hatred against your other nations man okay and you can't change that because the, because the, he's already said what he was going to do to you already okay you can't change his mind on that you can't tell them, oh, I've been good. <laughs> the Lord don't care. Okay, the Lord already stated what the judgment of your nation was going to be. So if you fall into that nation, you're going to be judged accordingly, man. Okay, because, you know, you, there's a lot of things you don't understand about how, you know, the workings of the Heavenly Father, man, and the reasons for your judgments. 
you know, but you won't receive them with the rest of your nation. Okay? Because none of you are innocent. Okay? But if you grab me Luke 1, uh, 1 and verse 68, please. Because the salvation is for Israel, man. Oh, man, this whole thing is being set up to save Israel. Okay? And for us to be saved, you, and you the enemies, the other nations, have to be destroyed. This is simple. It's lo so, as logical as that. Okay, for, for us to be saved from our enemies, our enemies must be destroyed. That's right. Okay, and you are listed as our enemies. Not by us, but by the scriptures. Okay? Just like Haman was an enemy of the, of, the, of the Jews, of the Israelites, he was destroyed. His family was destroyed. Okay? That's what happens to the enemies of Israel. They are destroyed. Okay? And just because we was in captivity under King you know, in the Persian Empire at the time we've been in multiple captivities under different empires that doesn't mean the law was with them because they were all brought down to some at some point you know it's just it was just for our punishment okay but all the law brought down all these empires he sent somebody else up to destroy them okay and this time round the law is gonna make you fight each other to destroy each other man and then the most I gonna send the, the, the legions of angels of Yahweh Shai to, to, to put you in subjection man Just like the prophecy said Yahweh Shah was going to do Okay Yahweh Shah is going to come with great wrath With the chariots and the angels And destroy these nations man He's going to take, take the crowns of the, of the earth Okay but Yeah yeah Grab me uh, Luke 1 and 68 Please Art, read down Luke 1 and 68 Blessed be the Lord God of Israel For he hath visited and redeemed his people And hath raised up an horn of salvation for that for us in the house of his servant David. Right, so the Lord hasn't forgotten us, just like the Lord hadn't forgot 